The next station is Bond Street. Doors will open on the right hand side. Change for the central line. So I just landed in London this morning. I'm actually gonna be here in London for the next two to three weeks. There is so much going on in the next few weeks. Green stuff for Tommy, me, and Dairy Boy. So a lot to come, so stay tuned for a lot of very exciting things. But anyways guys, let me give you like my tentative plan for the next few weeks. So today is the final of the Queen's Club Champion Tournament, which is just so exciting. I'm so happy for Tommy that he's had such a great week. Just so proud of him. So a little background on this tournament. Tommy actually told me all of this last year and I didn't actually get to go to this tournament last year and I was so sad because the clubhouse and the tournament is just so incredibly beautiful. The tournament is super historical and as are a lot of grass court tournaments because a majority of the grass court season is in the UK. So this tournament was actually founded in 1884. I think it's one of the oldest tournaments on the tour. And I know a majority of you probably don't follow tennis very closely, but I do enjoy giving you guys this information because I think it's interesting. And a lot of my content now is tennis because of Tommy, so. The more you know. I was actually supposed to be here anyways. I was gonna fly in this morning always, whether he was in the finals or not, because Tommy and I got given tickets to go to the Royal Ascot, and, but obviously very, very happy that he's in the final. Obviously I'd way rather go to him being in the final than a horse race. So it worked out really well. So another little update, Tommy actually decided that he's not gonna be going to Eastbourne, which is the next tournament before Wimbledon. Some of you guys might remember um, my vlog in Eastbourne last year, but I have to say I am really happy because I wasn't gonna be able to go to that tournament this year anyways. I have a fitting and a bunch of meetings in London this week. So I was actually supposed to be getting a hotel while Tommy went to Eastbourne, but now since he did so well in this tournament, he just wants to like rest and hit and practice at the courts at Wimbledon. We are moving tomorrow to our house in Wimbledon Village. So Wimbledon, the Grand Slam tournament, is actually named after a town. So we actually stay in Wimbledon Village during Wimbledon. It's just like the cutest little suburb ever. Anyways guys, I need to go put on my dress and head to the site. Also kind of fun and random, I think I have a few friends. They're gonna be at the match today. So I'm gonna change and I'll show you guys my dress and I will see you there. completely crashed 30 minutes after the award ceremony <laughs> we came back here after like some drinks and media and just like a lot of stuff on site and i fell asleep before 
dinner because I literally got three hours of sleep last night and then I started drinking. Anyways, I just ordered some Thai food. I'm sorry that you can't see me guys, but just bear with me. But yeah, what an amazing day. I am just like so incredibly happy for Tommy. Tennis is such a hard sport and these guys go through a lot and have to lose a lot. And every week it's a lot of ups and downs. Um, and it just, I think, makes these wins feel so much bigger and more exciting. So just so, so happy for him. I've decided that I'm gonna extend this vlog until tomorrow night so I can give you guys two days of content. Tomorrow, we are moving into the house in Wimbledon Village that we're gonna be at for two to three weeks, which I'm very excited about. I'll give you guys like a whole tour of the house. But for now, I'm gonna eat this Thai. Oh, that's nice. Hey guys, I had a few drinks last night. <laughs> we had one beer at dinner, and Brad ordered a whiskey shot too, which I didn't want to take it all, but I couldn't say no. Yeah. And here we are. this year is really really great there's also a pizza oven which is really exciting we just need to get gas for it a grill out there i They're can like, see that i think we can do wood chips or something we're gonna um cook a we're gonna put gulas right there no way next door yeah so seb can go back and forth we're gonna um cook dinner tonight do you know what you want do you have any idea and then i'm probably gonna be done with this vlog i really want to do a whole week vlog this week and like and probably start tomorrow but i'm gonna unpack my stuff and then i'm gonna run to the market and i'll do like a whole haul for you guys and probably show you guys dinner i have a lot of stuff this year so i'm gonna start unpacking Okay guys, Tommy's gonna help me tonight. No. No, I'm not. Here you are. Uh-uh. She cooks for me. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so I got these fresh tomatoes, some butter that looks really good, some fresh basil, garlic, got this big shallot. I got some um, clay green chili paste, um, chili pepper paste, and dried um, sun-dried tomato paste. I might add a little bit of these, I'm not sure yet. Some white wine. I'm gonna make a really simple pasta.
not showing you guys the basement yet, but this is really cool. We're gonna watch a little bit of Roger Federer's, what's it called, babe? Of the final days of his career. Do you want to go to ice cream? Yeah, kind of. Right now? 